Hey guys, so today I will be teaching you how to make an awesome uh, diva ring light at home that's super affordable so that you don't have to spend hundreds online. Hope you enjoy this project. Please subscribe and comment and let's get right to the video. Okay, so you'll be needing some aluminum foil, wax paper, Zip ties, mine are 8 inch, the 100 count, 16 foot rope light, and I got mine with daylight, some scissors, clear tape, and a wreath. I found that in the fake floral department, and a piece of cardboard. So what, what you'll have to do is you'll have to measure and make sure your cardboard is big enough for your wreath. And then you're going to go ahead and trace that all around. So you'll trace around the outside, but you'll also have to trace around the inside. <laughs> so once you have... <laughs> your wreath trace you're gonna have to cut that out this was the hardest part for me to do my scissors weren't really cardboard friendly so when you sit down to do this project just make sure that you have a good pair of scissors this is what probably took me the longest doing this project um, because you have to go all around and you have to kind of you know follow the the shape of the wreath I also went ahead and just folded it in the center to make um, the outline of the circle, of the inner circle. And you want to do that because this cardboard is going to be used later to to refre reflect the light from, from your rope light. So once you finish cutting that all up, you're going to want <laughs> you're going to want to wrap it with foil. And I did uh, small sheets just so that it was easier to fold and um, to make sure I got everything covered. When I did get the new sheet, I kind of overlapped the edge of my previous sheet. Like I said, I wanted to make sure that everything is covered. And the purpose of the foil is so that these the rope light can reflect and bounce back to you, which is the whole purpose of the ring light. So you just want to go ahead and wrap it all around. What I did do um, after I finished wrapping it, I went back over some places that I thought were kind of loose or if I saw that there was maybe a patch of cardboard I went and took smaller pieces as you can see here and just kind of rewrapped it I just wanted to be sure it was all in place so when you have all that done you're gonna go ahead and grab your ring light, your rope light and then um, you're going to want to start with the, not the end that you are um, plugging in because there's two ends and they look very similar. Make sure you are not grabbing the end that you plug in. So grab the other end and start with that one. You want to make sure that the wreath, um, that the edges that are sticking out are pointing towards you. That way the light is really bouncing towards you and not away from you so make sure that those edges are pointing upward and that you're laying the light on top of that I started on the outer line of the wreath so I just zip tied the light to the outer wire and when I was doing this um I kind of followed the where the cross wire was and that's kind of where I chose to put my zip ties 
simply because I felt like if I tugged on it just to make them a little bit tighter or make the light a little bit tighter um, the zip tie wouldn't move around so that's where I chose to to put the zip ties but if you feel that you need more zip ties then feel free to add all the zip ties you need that's why I got the hunt the 100 pack I'd rather be safe than sorry Jerry almost told me to get the 20 pack and trust me you definitely will not have enough with the 20 pack especially because later on you'll be cutting these down and there's a few that I cut too close and they broke so I had to redo them so yeah go ahead and get the 100 pack <laughs> you messed up with my video. <laughs> anyway, um, so I just went ahead and just wrapped the whole light around and went zip tying and zip tying and zip tying. Um, I kind of just really followed the wire. So when I made it back to where I started, I just went ahead and went on to the next wire um, and I did the same thing there just kind of stuck to where the cross wires were so that I can uh, make sure that they were stable Okay, so now that I'm getting more towards the end, you'll see that I uh, leave a piece that has not been zip tied. And the reason I did that is so that I wouldn't have to add a longer extension cord. So I kind of have, I will leave that piece kind of hanging. Um, right now where I have my light, it's, it, that part kind of hangs behind my desk. So the light doesn't really bother me. It doesn't reflect some funny light because it's hitting behind my desk. But I'm thinking if I change the, the setup that I have or the way I record and I feel that it does bother me, then I will probably wrap it in electrical tape. Um, here I am cutting on the zip tie. So you want to make sure you cut them as short as you can without clipping it too short to where they come apart like it happened to me. Um, but you also want to be very careful when you cut these they can uh, have sharp edges I, I read some comments on somebody else that I saw did, that did this project where they cut themselves on those sharp edges somebody else also mentioned um, maybe filing them down so they weren't as sharp so what you'll do here is you'll grab your foil covered cardboard and you'll lay it on the back of um, of the light so that the part that's sticking up is still sticking up. So you're laying it on the flatter side. And what I did there, uh, the two wires that actually touch the cardboard, I zip, I put a zip tie through there and then around the cardboard just so that it can stay in place. And I've kind of followed the same rule to where I was going along the cross wire um, right there where you see that that the extra light is hanging down from I did add a few more pieces of zip tie there because it was kind of loose and wiggling so like I said this is just kind of what you see and what you feel you need and it won't hurt to put more um, there I was having a little snack <laughs> um, this project did take me 
quite a while, but I was working on other things. I was kind of cooking and putting stuff in the laundry, in the washer and dryer. So it did take me a little while. I say if you have time to do this and only dedicate time to this project, then it, it wouldn't take so long, maybe about half an hour. Mine took me a little long and I stopped and had a snack. <laughs> when you are done with that, um, you want to take your clear tape and your wax paper and just go ahead and wrap the entire thing just like you did the foil. And I did the same thing where I kind of overlapped the edges. So wherever I was, I previously put wax paper, the other one, I, the next wax paper, sheet of wax paper, I kind of overlapped. And I can tell you, I feel like maybe I was a little too stingy with the tape because I've actually had this like for about a week now and I've noticed that the tape kind of comes up a little bit so I will be going back and adding more tape to it maybe like some longer pieces of tape but I say just go ahead and add all the tape that you need I don't think it was the brand of tape because I've used this brand before and I haven't had any problems with it um, but if you think that you have a better brand, then hey, go ahead and use that. Um, but do, do not be stingy with the tape, basically, because it will come up. Maybe because it's wax paper and it's, things don't really stick to it as much. Maybe that was the reason. Oh, and like I had said before, those, um, zip ties do leave sharp edges, so they did poke through a few times, but I just kind of left it like that. Unless I felt like it made a big hole, then I went ahead and put more um, wax paper over it. And that, my friends, is how you make the Diva Ring Light. That's really all there is to it. Um, you'll see once I finish wrapping it that will be it and you saw the light in the beginning it works great i've tried it and you'll be seeing it in a video soon bye guys